The University of Chicago and Northwestern University, two of the best universities in the country and in the entire world. Both schools are found in the Chicago metropolitan area. As a current student at UChicago and as a lifelong resident of the city of Chicago, it's interesting to think about how these two schools compare to each other, especially since there's a pretty significant academic rivalry. So let's go through a really brief overview of both schools. This is in no way meant to be a fully comprehensive comparison, but more of a quick glance at some of what each school has to offer. There's a lot of info to get through, so let's begin. To start things off, it's important to know where these schools are actually located. Here's a map of Chicago, and here's where the two universities are found. As you'll notice, Northwestern University is located outside of Chicago. It's in the city of Evanston. However, the law, medical, and professional schools of Northwestern are located in Chicago. UChicago is, of course, found in the city of Chicago. As such, it's a decent bit closer to downtown, but Northwestern's main campus isn't that far away either. Northwestern is in fact fortunate to have the Purple Line nearby, one of the CTA L lines that heads downtown. UChicago also has a nearby CTA line, the Green Line, which runs downtown as well. Most importantly, we've got to talk about academics. These schools both have incredible academic reputations and rank extremely well across the board. UChicago consistently pulls near top 10 ratings in several global university rankings, and Northwestern usually sits near the top 20. I'll briefly mention SAT scores, even though test scores are no longer required to apply to either school. UChicago's Class of 2023 middle 50% score range was 1500 to 1560, while the Class of 2023 at Northwestern had a middle score range of 1450 to 1550. But we all know that these various ranking systems and standardized tests are extremely flawed when it comes to judging schools and students though, so let's talk about some of the actual programs and educational styles at these two schools. For undergraduates, UChicago is well known for its focus on a liberal arts education through the core, and students are required to take classes from the humanities, social sciences, mathematics, physical sciences, and more. Generally, UChicago has all-around excellent and top-ranked programs, but it's got a great reputation for economics, math, and business-related programs. Its graduate schools include the Law School and the Booth School of Business, both of which consistently rank in the top five nationwide. But don't count out Northwestern, as its Kellogg School of Business is just as well-ranked as Booth, and it also has the fantastic Pritzker Law School. Again, graduate and undergraduate programs are incredible across the board at Northwestern, and it's well known for its undergraduate communications and performing arts programs, both of which are arguably the best in the nation. Northwestern also emphasizes a liberal arts style of education in many of its undergrad departments. The bottom line is, at either school, no matter what you study, you're going to get a great education from some of the greatest minds in the country. Where the schools are quite different, though, is athletics. Obviously, both schools offer a wide variety of athletic programs, but they are undeniably a much bigger deal at Northwestern. Northwestern is a member of the Big Ten Conference, the oldest Division I conference in the country. The Wildcats have a massive following, and their various games draw huge crowds. On the other hand, UChicago sports teams play in Division III conferences, and they're called the Maroons. The sports scene in general is far less prominent at UChicago than Northwestern, but in the past, this was not the case, and UChicago was actually a founding member of the Big Ten. Beyond academics and athletics, how is life on campus at these two schools? UChicago is pretty well known for its student housing arrangements, which group students within dorms into various houses, each of which has their own emblem and quirky traditions. House culture is a big selling point of the undergrad experience at UChicago, and some people are way more into it than others. Northwestern's student housing is organized a little bit differently, and there are two main options for students, either to live in a residential hall or residential college. Residential colleges are set up in such a way that students in similar academic fields can live in the same space, while residential halls are more of your usual dorm with a pretty much random mix of students. Something else interesting I found while researching housing is Northwestern's Greenhouse, which is a dorm dedicated to sustainability. That's kinda sick. 
Even though these schools both have famously rigorous academic programs, the social scene at both schools is actually very vibrant. Contrary to some of the classic stereotypes about the schools, Greek life is a pretty big deal at Northwestern, although it's starting to gain more and more traction at UChicago, at least in my experience. At both schools, though, it's absolutely not necessary to be part of the party crowd to socialize, if that's not your thing, since you'll find tons of incredible extracurricular organizations and all kinds of people with all kinds of interests. And again, the unique housing options that both schools offer are also great places to find friends. So, how many people actually go to these universities? Both schools are not that large in terms of total enrollment, especially compared to some larger state schools. In 2018, there were 17,100 total students at UChicago, with 6,595 of those being undergraduates. At Northwestern's main Evanston campus, there were 16,786 total students, and 8,230 of them were undergraduate students. Both schools also offer satellite campuses and educational centers across the globe, although UChicago does have several more than Northwestern. UChicago has centers in London, Paris, Hong Kong, New Delhi, and Beijing, while Northwestern has a center in Education City, a large development just outside of Doha in Qatar. To finish things off, here are a few fun facts about each school. UChicago's entire campus was designated as an official botanic garden in 1997. Northwestern has a rock, called The Rock, which frequently gets painted with messages as a tradition. Bernie Sanders got his undergrad degree in political science from UChicago in 1964. Stephen Colbert graduated from Northwestern's School of Communication in 1986. The first self-sustaining nuclear reaction was produced at UChicago, and radiocarbon dating was also pioneered there. Northwestern produces endless amounts of groundbreaking medical research to this day. Doc Films at UChicago is the longest-running student film group in the country. And last but not least, Northwestern has produced more Saturday Night Live cast members than any other school. I hope that this brief comparison of UChicago and Northwestern was interesting. Both schools are really incredible, and despite the almost necessary rivalry between us, I'd say we have a great amount of respect for each other. I mean, the two schools did almost merge during the 30s, but maybe that's a video for another day. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.